doesn't look like Jim either. Good evening, hi. Today we decided to go and check probably the oldest Tibetan restaurant in Kathmandu. Yeah, it was opened in 1970s. It participated in uh, tourism development of Tamil. And uh, what is more is that we really admire the Tibetan culture and uh, Tibetan cuisine. When we were living in Haramshala, India, we got in touch with uh, lots of Tibetan refugees. We touched their culture and uh, we are really fascinated by this opportunity to try some authentic Tibetan food here in Kathmandu. Join us for this Tibetan experience. Yep. You can see a market that uh, works here, I think, every day. Uh, yeah, I think every day, uh, except on some holidays, because when there are some celebrations, that took uh, take then they kicking out uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because this is Darbar Square this is probably one of the most popular places for celebration and yeah uh, so maybe they move to other streets but uh, yeah basically every day you can see lots of trades going on here I hope I won't need this. Some cookery. Basically you can buy everything related to local traditions, uh, any old artifacts, uh, but we cannot show you about the authenticity of it. So yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, it's, it's you, like a lottery I guess. You, you should look for made in China sign. Yeah. Look at this street. Uh, yeah, the, the, the one of the busiest street that I saw probably. Yeah, we are uh, near, uh, kind of in between Tamil and uh, Basantapur. There are some bazaars which are constantly crowded, constantly uh, offering good prices. I would say mostly, especially if you bargain for uh, various nice things. And I would really uh, encourage you to. Uh, try to buy here certain small things instead of going to Tamil like sorry but in Tamil the prices are usually much higher than in these Basitapur uh, bazaars maybe you remember we have a video about a Lithuanian bazaar named uh, Garuni. Garuni yes yeah 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 so basically this is Garuni in the street of the city. Yeah, and uh, check the what's happening on Garuna currently. I think uh, some people are trying to close it and start a new project there. Yeah, there, there's some happening. So oh, might maybe even our previous video will become you know one of the last recording you know the life of Garuna. Maybe there will be no more Garun Garuna, but uh, yeah, we'll see. The future will show uh, us. I hope it won't happen. It's not that easy to move around here. After about 20 minutes walk through the most busy streets of Kathmandu, we almost arrived the right place yeah uh, it's a restaurant somewhere here somewhere here yeah this one okay so the oldest Tibetan food place in Nepal Utsa. Utsa. I wonder what does it mean we'll check this. <laughs> yeah we have to check this
Hello. Oh, that's fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, you do. Thank you. There is some videos on YouTube about this restaurant, but you know the rule from How I Met Your Mother, the newer is always better. So let's look at the current prices of menu. Yeah, uh, the yak cock maybe, mm -hmm. or Tibetan set meal. Maybe mm -hmm. yakuts. It's better. Better? Yeah, more like expensive. The of chicken, buffalo pork, or with meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe then uh, one yak for two. Yeah. Uh, non veg. Non -veg. Yeah, non veg. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so it will be probably so, so far the good. Good. Yeah, uh, maybe we can keep one, okay? Okay. Yeah, we have some heavy. Uh huh. You have some Tibetan traditional drinks? Tumba? Tumba. What's that? It's uh, meat beer. Meat beer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so maybe we will take them one Tongpa and one Rakshi. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the Umat Melet beer. Yes, Rakshi. Oh, and Rax. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, the, uh, so okay, so this is uh, uh, beer Tongpa. 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 Let's try. I like the straws. Okay, interesting. It's uh, very strange. Yeah, and Rakshi, it's um, rice liquor. And in the beer, there is many, uh, I don't know, seeds or whatever. Yeah, maybe that's millet or something like that. Hmm, it's it like a guano. Ah, it's like poppies. Yeah, Poppy yeah. seeds. Similar. Okay, interesting. Mm, try it. All right. Cheers. Isla is better. Yeah, but it's... It has some similarity to Isla, but yeah, you really feel something something unique. Something with rice, maybe. I, I don't know, I haven't maybe tried one. sake. Maybe, maybe it might be similar to sake, but I have no idea. Yeah, some strange mix. Yeah. Okay. Liqueur with uh, beer. Nice. So this is sour appetizer before the traditional Tibetan... Uh, maybe it's it's the way how to eat traditional Tibetan food. You have to get wasted before. It's not enough to get wasted. <laughs> Those seeds absorbing liquid and getting bigger and bigger. Because it was like yeah. liquid and now it's almost only seeds. No, but we drank. A little bit. Yeah, but then now you drank more. But still. Yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, maybe we should refill or whatever. We will ask. Yeah. It's not easy to eat at Tibetan food place. It's like a puzzle. You have, you have to know the ways. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, with this water, yeah, we should refill. Refill, yeah. Refill, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. So that, that will be lots of to drink today. Yep. Okay. I like this pot. It looks very Lithuanian, like old style wooden. Yeah, only this. This metal no, straws. Lithuanian metal. metal straws or not really, but uh, I like that they are metal. You know. So it's good, sustainable, reusable. Mm. Mm. I kind of like it. It's strange, but I kind of like it. Okay. It's hard to say if this beer is strong. How do you think? 
uh, I, yeah, I still considering. Is it like getting me uh, somehow? You know, Did not you say high or else or like that. Yeah, and I have no idea. Especially, it's hard to say when I'm drinking this rice. Let's liquor. mix rice liquor with uh, the some. And but then Lithuanians beer. came to Tibetan restaurant. Like always, Linus uh, checked Wikipedia and now he has some lectures to you. And some other articles. So yeah, this is Tongba. Um, Tongba, maybe I should spell. It's it's basically a beer from Millet. Uh, and um, you can Google what's, what's the Millet. It's, it's like little crops. And uh, this alcoholic beverage is important for Limbu uh, people and uh, uh, you can find this in Bhutan, Nepal and northern states of uh, India like Sikkim, it's kind of a northeast a little bit and uh, yeah, usually it is being offered during special occasions festivals uh, also to, to the guests, it's a nice gesture and this rakshi made of rice, mostly from rice so it's a little bit similar to Japanese sake, but but you should try. This is a stronger liquor, like like vodka or gin. Uh, but yeah, it's tastes the slightly slightly yellowish color. Uh, but yeah, it's it's quite good. Quite good. I, I'm happy with this order. Thank you, Linus. We learned a lot. Anytime. Thank you. Part of hot pot. Okay. Hot pot is being delivered by pieces. I have no idea what's that exactly, but looks like potatoes. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think uh, yeah, Tibetans have their own way of making uh, potatoes. So yeah, let's try this. And yeah, gyakok is basically a Tibetan pot with lots of different ingredients. And hmm. it's potato. Yeah. Um, confirm that's potato. <laughs> and it's by the way, it's really good potato. Really, really, really tasty. A little bit sweet, mm, boiled, but yeah, it's it's really good. Not not spicy. And uh, I was reading a little bit about the Akok pot, but uh, I didn't found much. Just that it might be similar to some Chinese or um, Korean food as well. Uh, but yeah, we will see what are the ingredients because there are a lot of ingredients coming into that pot. So, yeah. It's going to be the most interesting part of the video, how we eat it with uh, sticks. Yeah, you know, that, that onion is very slippery. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Mm. Easy like that. It's Thank you. Thank you. And four moments. Four moments. I don't know. So should we eat it like now? I, I thought it would be just you know pot with everything at the same time. But I guess I guess it's just constant appetizers coming. Yeah, I thought the same, but I think yeah, we should start. We yeah. should start. You know, probably that pot is not that big. Mm. So, but when we will start to eat slowly, we will get full easier. Yeah, it's really good, really, really good. I think it's with vegetables. Try, it's really good. Somewhere the third week of being in Kathmandu, we got poisoned, but uh, by momos, and it's it's good, but still I. I don't really want to eat them, you know? I will, I will finish this one, but I won't order them. For me, it's still great. I could eat momos much more than I, I do now. Thank you. Oh, nice. All right, so we have a lot of garlic. Yeah, I like that they serve garlic. And um, is it... Uh, yeah, I think it's just raw garlic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this. This is Hari Mirsha. Also raw in some... Yeah. It's some, some kind of uh, liquid. I, I don't know which. <coughs> Quite spicy. <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> okay, let me try to give it a bit. 
give me the beer. <coughs> right. And there is that yeah, red. Spicy. And there is red chilies, uh, which are even more spicier. I forgot how how they called. Maybe we can call it just lal mirch or something like that. But they're tasty. But with food, <laughs> not like you know, just on its own. You should eat it with food. I have a challenge. <clears throat> Who will eat more of this? I could, but next you know, time. Yeah, I, I'm not really you know sure what I will do uh, in the toilet after that. Mm. Okay, thank you. Whoa, nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, look at this. I um, think uh, rice should come too, but um, yeah, we have uh, eggs, some, I don't know. Sausages some, maybe? Yeah, probably. Uh, carrots, tofu, tofu. And it's the almost kalyan, shisha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. It's getting better. Getting better. <laughs> Should I put it into a plate or just this no cup? No fucking idea. They should uh, give to us like um, instructions. Yeah, like instructions, like manual, how to eat from this pot, yeah, what yeah. to do. But it looks really, really good, and it smells really good. Very tasty. Oh, no, thank you, thank you. Oh, we have okay noodles so have and the rice. Let's share. Sharing is caring. Oh. Okay, I give up. I will eat with a fork. Yeah, me too. Just, mm -hmm. Let's just eat, not play. Yeah. yeah. It's enough. You see how the plate looks? We have a um, name for that in Lithuania. It's not really a Lithuanian word, but we call it kishmish. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, lots of various things just put together. But what I like it is that most of it is boiled, not fried in oil. It's quite nutritious and healthy. We have onion, uh, we have um, eggs, we have some vegetables, meat, and um, yeah, but the, for me it looks quite healthy. Yeah, I really like this food. Yeah, so that sad moment when the food is finished. Yeah, but the, we still have some alcohol. Alright, now beers. <laughs> it's going to be before intro. Yeah, uh, lots of things in my stuff. Mm. Yeah. Keep going, it's going only better and better. <laughs> Give me a break. So basically, we finished almost. Just like you can hear, it's almost empty. And what I can say, it feels like I can feel it. <laughs> It looks like part is over. Yeah, but it's good. It's kind of strange. It's not. It's not strong at all, but um, it's fun. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and uh, can we pay? Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> you will finish? Yeah. Okay. So we just finished our dinner at the uh, Utsa restaurant and no. hotel. No, thanks. And uh, yeah, for me it was incredible. What about you? Yeah, it was very delicious. If you like normal person, if you eat like normal person, then definitely this pot for uh, for two people is going uh, to be enough. And yeah, we paid like uh, 2,555 rupees, so it's uh, basically 17 euros 71 cents. And now, what's now? I think now 
we're going to our friend's place to eat uh, Navari dessert. Yeah. But it's not really dessert, but <laughs> it, for us it's dessert. So Venus will call her now and we will order some food. Yeah, and few few last words about this place. Uh, I can assure that they did not pay for us, you know, for, for this good reviews, but it, it was really good. Like, it's quite healthy. It's quite different taste from all the Nepali dishes that we've tried. Uh, so yeah, if you if you want to try some Tibetan, go to Utsak. And uh, also, I really appreciate the Tibetan culture. You you really can see how it distinguishes uh, the, itself from from all other Himalayan cultures. And the cuisine it's it's quite unique. So yeah, support Tibet. Uh, maybe we'll lose some Chinese audience for that, but you know, what the hell. Support Tibet and eat Tibetan food. Bye. So again in uh, the Pyakhal food court. Yeah, and uh, we'll have some best dessert ever. Ah, this, this looks beautiful here. It's much more crowded, much more at evening. And beautiful, look those lights. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, what is this? Choila. <laughs> Choila. Choila. It's like traditional Navari food? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, and what meat is it used? Buff. Buff. Okay, let's try how it is. Hmm. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Mm. It's cold. Yeah. It's chewy, but it's tasty. It's less chewy than in that place. Yeah. But what part of the meat is this? Like of the animal? You know, yeah. mm, this is good. So you told me before you live in uh, where? Lalipur. So this food is very famous in Lalipur. Ah, <clears throat> yeah, we tried. We tried. Yeah, we tried in Lalipur. But it was too chewy. Like this is that you provide is much better. But that one you couldn't, you know, you couldn't chew yeah, right. enough. Yeah. What part of the animal is this? <laughs> you can make it from finger or head. You need uh, meat, like. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But it it, it it tastes like muscle, maybe. Yeah, it's muscle. Yeah, it's muscle. Mm -hmm. So it can. It's made from hand, leg also. Uh -huh. But it's a different one. Uh -huh. You okay. can have with alcohol, uh -huh. like Gela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also try this one with Gela. Mm -hmm. It's much better is that leg and uh -huh. the right here, and now we're eating. I think the best dessert that we ever had in uh, Nepal. So this is Yomri. Yomari. Yeah. Some people they don't call it as a dessert, but uh, we do <laughs> because it's sweet. <laughs> it's it's nice, you know, after a um, good um, good main dish, it's it's really refreshing to eat it because it's uh, so sweet and I think it's uh, cooked in um, steam. Uh, the dough is something like dumpling, but covered in rice flour or something like that. And inside you can get two different um, uh, fillings. So this one is darker one and this yeah, is the one traditional one. Yeah, traditional one. It's called chaku. And it's made from um, sugar cane, from jaggery, from ghee and nuts sometimes. Uh, for me, it, it, it tastes a little bit like ca ca cacao, a little bit, but it's very, very tasty. Uh, so yeah, it's a kind of a simple Navari dish, but it never, never... Yeah, I know never what... never lets you down. I yeah, would. I know what Linus wants to say, because we're eating them like every day for the past, I know, four weeks, something like that, every day, two in the morning after their food it's like dessert so mm. and even now in the evening we ate this uh, yomari today in the morning and uh, now we eating again so yeah, yeah I cannot probably one of the best experience of in the local Navari dishes that we had so far and maybe we will have the future like it's, it's just crazy good yeah so if you will be in Nepal on Kathmandu or 
then definitely you should try it. It's very good. Yeah, with milk tea, very suitable. Or coffee. Or whatever. So now probably we'll end this video. Thank you for joining us for this full adventure in Kathmandu. And uh, don't forget to smash like button, subscribe. We really appreciate if you do. And comment if you like anything. Uh, so yeah, it's dark. I'm wearing a sunglasses and I'm telling you to follow our Instagram as well for daily content. And I'm telling you to do 100 push-ups every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye.